Okay. Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Kicking ass, taking names, and obtaining. We're back once a motherfucking again with uh, this, whatever this thing is called. <laughs> the horror cube. The horror. The horror. I don't know if you give yourself a YouTube name because you're obtaining. Maybe I'll be downtain. Down? No, no. We don't take any downtainers in this household. Nice. Okay. Uh, this card's pretty good. Power and toughness. Hard. Power and toughness are gives the number of creatures you control. When it enters the battlefield, you get two spirits. Blind okay, spirits. well, we can go for, like, a, a token deck. Yeah. There's this guy who does 13 damage to each creature in play, and it costs one less for each creature in play. How much does it cost? It normally costs nine, so if there's, like, four creatures in play, it's going to cost five. This kills everything. Oh, wow. Uh, This guy, like, well, training maybe, makes us bigger. Maybe that would wheel, you know? Blasphemous Act? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's like a good vampire that draws you I extra cards. Like yeah, let's we'll just take this. I spirit. like the white creature. Yeah, I like it too. This it's a human monk. Yeah, this is. We will just gotta kind of. I don't know. It's hard to play so fast. Um, card, that white one on the bottom. This one. Uh -huh. Exile targets skeleton, vampire, or zombie. I mean, that's a really good card. Like in this format, this is gonna kill so many things. It's like a good sideboard card, but it's also just a three mana two two, so it seems reasonable to play that main deck. Like you can play it in the main deck too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, this guy's a good vampire when he attacks. Your whenever a vampire attacks, your opponent loses when you gains one. So, like this guy, you remember Hell, like a uh, Hell Rider in the Vintage Cube? Like this guy's very similar to that. Oh, um, okay. Uh, there's like this really good removal, just unconditional removal, lose three. I like the, the idea of taking this guy though. It seems. Yourself. Pretty powerful, and it could just go into any, you know, slot into any white deck. Seems totally fine. Oh, I like this guy a lot. You have, I've, you've played this card. Whenever one or more creatures with power two or less enter your battlefield, draw a card. This triggers only once each turn. Um, mm -hmm. That guy. There's this guy, the three one that taps a thing or makes a thing not untap. Oh, yeah. uh, this guy's a good. Just a two mana three one flash sacrifice a destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Uh, this guy's an army in a can. He's three mana two three. When he attacks, you make two one ones that are also attacking. I think those are the best cards in this pack. I think we should stay with the white thing. I like drawing cards. All right, then we'll take the white guy. All is right. uh what what's it's if a creature uh what does it say if a uh creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield? Yes. So, like, if we make a 1-1 one, one token, does that count? Yep, definitely. Okay. Most definitely. We're going to make tokens. I want to figure out how we can generate tokens. Okay. Green-white is the token deck. All right, so training. Whenever this creature attacks with another creature with power greater than it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Remove two 1-1 one, one counters from it, destroy target artifact or enchant. That seems good. Yeah. And it's, it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Fits the cheap bill. Green, blue, add one mana of any color, two mana to cast a spoil from a graveyard, exile return is card with from flashback from your exile to your hand. I think this card's pretty good. White, you know, it's literally the last white card in the pack, so we might need to start diverging soon, but it's pretty good. You know, it has some versatility. It can also just be an early game beater. Start Sometimes just start beating people down. I like this white card. It's a... 3 mana, 1-1 one, one flyer, that also makes you a 1-1 one, one spirit. Pay 4 mana, exile this guy, and exile another creature. So it's like a removal spell that also just leaves you with a 1-1 one, one that you gets left behind, you know? What well, seems good. Yeah, I like this card a lot. I like the versatility of that card. Yeah. Oh, it's like, because you can play it on turn 3, turn 4, attack with both the things, then exile something post-combat, you know? It also, oh, yeah. it's 2 tokens that go with this... It draws you a card with this, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, so white green is probably where we're going to wind up if we want to be the token deck. Well, there's that, that red card that generates 1-1 one, one human mm -hmm. soldiers. Yeah, that guy's, he, I don't know if he's an outlier. There's probably a lot of, there's a lot of cards in every color that are going to make tokens, but. White and green is supposed to be the token deck, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Like, this guy's a 6-mana 6-6 six six that makes you two two twos, And then when he flips over, he attacks and makes you two two twos when he attacks. Two two twos. 
Another turn. good. Yeah. There's also this card that's a pretty reasonable removal. So target creature you control gains indestructible. Destroy a target creature with a toughness four or greater. Yeah, the Valor. Yeah, the Valor. We've been playing this card to some success. Uh, I like that card, you, but whatever you want. I think Either one, the creature's good, the Valor's good. Yeah, I like this early game interaction. R what I've found of this format is you really want removal. Removal's just so good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, other permits you control have hexproof. You may look at the top card of your library. You can cast angel spells and humans from the top of your deck. So right we now have lots of humans, right? we have one. Right now we have two, three humans. So it's like some card advantage. I like it. As long as this protects your other cards, like pretty good. I like that, and it's a four. It's a four mana four four. It's four mana four four flyer. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Uh, there's also this spirit. We have a couple spirits, but you know, yeah, I like this guy. Okay, we go for the green one. Okay, let's do it. Uh, create two one one spirit tokens with flying. Oh, it's the Garga, um, which is what we just took. This is just a different iteration of it. Five mana, four five flying. You and humans you control have hex puff. Exile a card from your graveyard. Create a one one token. That seems good. Yeah, very powerful. Um, yeah, I like, I like this. this yeah, if you have both of these in play, like you and humans, you control have hex proof, and then, well, I guess you humans. This doesn't give angels hex proof. Um, but yeah, I, I like this deck too. Um, I don't know what we should be on the lookout for. Things that double your tokens, like early game creatures. Uh, I don't know. I think this was a pretty good pack one though. Oh, well, this guy's really good. Training. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 token with training. Training means, if like, it's the same with this guy. If you attack with a creature that's bigger than this guy, he gets a 1-1 counter. Okay, and it's only him and one other creature? Uh, he, like, well, multiple creatures. whenever you cast a creature spell, create another dude. No, and, I'm talking about for the tra yeah, yeah, take just, that card, but I'm talking about yeah. just him, just only him and one other. Uh, he, uh, it, it's all individual individual checks. Like, let's say we attack just with this guy and this guy, right? A 2-2 two -two and a 1-2. This guy would grow bigger because this guy's attacking and he's bigger than him. But you would, okay. he would not get what bigger. If, what if there's three creatures attacking? If, like, we had Cigar to this guy and this guy, then these two would both grow. Oh, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take this guy. You wrecked me the other day. Hmm. So it's playable, but not really. It's pretty bad. Uh, here's a trick. I like this. This can save one of your creatures. This guy's a yeah. huge, awesome, big end game beater. What uh, is it? Uh, six mana. Power and toughness seeks is the number of lands you control. When it enters the battlefield, search for your library for a land. Put it into the battlefield. Then shuffle. Mm. Um, this card, Harmless Offering. Uh, I love it. There's a deck that goes with it. Target opponent gains control of target permanent you control. Remember that card that's like, you draw four, then, you know, you draw two yeah, cards, I, then I, I make it do, then lose the game. Just give it to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this guy, one of the cards we glossed over because it was too quick. Flash, when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Okay. So it's pretty good. Let's see, what do we have, y'all? Um, first Strike, Vigilance. Protect him from vampires, werewolves, and from zombies. Um, it's also a human. Uh, when this guy enters the battlefield, exile all zombies, then return all humans from your graveyard to play. That seems good. It's also, yeah, it's seven it minutes, it's good. good. Yeah. This guy comes into play and fights a zombie. Uh, also destroy target... Artifact an opponent controls. Um, I think this guy's slightly better than that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think those, like, this card's seven mana and this card's two, and I'd rather just take the two drops. It's kind of how I'm feeling. What do you think? Okay. I like this guy. He's pretty cool. Yeah. He's, Hopefully the angel will. Yeah, the angel will. Cool. Like yeah. Uh, okay. Here's some good cards. Huh? 
Oh, there's the landfall guy. Yeah, landfall guy, the oblivion ring on a plus two, plus two. Yeah. And then here's a guy at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control four or more creatures, he flips over. And then his power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. Also, at the beginning of your end step, create a 1-1. One, one. So, really powerful. But I don't think it's as good as these two, but I'd like it to wheel. What do you like more, the tireless tracker or uh, the oblivion ring thing? Uh, it's also this card, which isn't bad, but... And the Oblivion Ring, the creature that's enchanted, if it dies, they get the creature back, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know. You pick. I don't care. I like the land. I like both of them. Yeah, I like both. I think Tyler Strikers just more card draw. I rarely use that. I like drawing cards. So do I. What? So he has Landfall, but he gets, is that the one where you're going to play with the top of your library revealed? No. Uh, landfall get a treasure uh investigate token and then when you crack oh. investigate when you yeah. crack the clues you he grows oh okay i like this guy a lot he ends the battlefield search your library for a basic land put it into your hand so it's card advantage and then Kavine. so it means if you control three or more creatures with different powers you can flip this guy over so if you have a one power guy a two power guy and a three power guy you can flip this guy over into a three three life linker that's good. Yeah, let's see what else we got. What's this thing? Can't attack unless you control a creature with power four or greater. To give your answer, if you know other spells were cast, it just flips into a four four. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this guy though. Drawing cards is pretty nice. Okay. Even if the it has to be a land, it's still good. Let's see what this guy does. Whenever you gain life, put a one one counter on this guy. As long as he has four or more counters on it as flying. If it has 10 or more counters, it's indestructible. But, like, we have no life gain as far as I could tell. So We have one life linker. We just picked up a life linker. Oh, yeah, the guy that can flip into a life linker. Yeah, that's not very yeah. consistent. Here's the white-green land. It enters the battlefield tapped, but still a white-green land at the end of the day. And this guy searches up a planes. Oh, a basic planes. Okay. Yeah, I still think it's the best card. We need to get some fixing, you know? Mm. Oh, I like two cards in this pack. Selfless Spirit, sacrifice it. All your creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. That could be like a... What about that... Oh, is that white, green, blue? Never mind. And then uh, this guy is... Inner Spoutfield destroys a vampire, werewolf, or zombie. That's a good sideboard card, but that... That flying two one seems good. Is that two a two drop? Yeah, two drop for two one flyer. That's that seems good. Not even that bad to draw later on. All right, what's this card do? And it's the battlefield. Search your library for a legendary card. Put it into your hand. Well, we have one, two, three, three other legendary cards. So that seems pretty good. Um, there's also a two mana three one. Exile three cards from your graveyard. It gains first strike until end of turn. Discard a card. Exile this guy. Return it to the battlefield under its controllers. Uh, that's weird. Why do you have to exile and then it returns? I don't know. So three one that kind of comes back to life. Um, okay, whatever you want. Man, this is tough. I'm gonna take a the value card. Just good value. All right, green white land. That's good. Or uh, Dahlia. First strike, non-creature spells cost one more to cast. That's good, too. Oh, and there's I, this guy that you I, like. But we don't, we're not spirits this time, so it's not nearly as good. Um, you don't know which one of these is better. Green, white, land. Green, white, land? Okay. Uh, better safe than sorry. Three mana train. When this guy trains, exile up to one other creature from... The battlefield or a creature from a graveyard when it leaves the battlefield the exiled cards onto the battlefield oh that's kind of cool oh there's also this guy who's a really good human when he enters the battlefield you put a one one on each other human and then when a human come into play he gets bigger we have a lot yeah. of humans this guy could be yeah. great uh oh the angel wield yep that seems like some fun top end stuff Seven mana, but hey, 
Could I be like, the right colors too? You know? I think so. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine humans, so that's pretty good. Humans and angels. We have one, two, three, f three angels. However many humans I said, and a wolf. <laughs> And a couple spirits and a vampire. Oh, the Oblivion Ring wield. Yay, that's good for us. Yeah, that's also really good, but I think the Oblivion Ring is a little bit better. This fills more of a niche that we need to fill. And I think we're definitely in the right colors. If like Oblivion Ring and that guy and the green-white flashback card are wheeling, we're definitely in the right deck. So. Yeah. So we have 19 playables right now. Six. We're only in pack two. Yeah, we're only in pack two. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we could splash this guy. Not really, but I don't know. You like me to take the cards that like are feasible to play, as opposed to just cutting somebody else of their cards. No. Unless it's like a ridiculous card, but we don't even know if we're going to end up playing against them. But oh, yeah. I'd rather take something that we could potentially play just in case. You yeah. know? Yeah. The odds are unlikely. That we play against anybody in this draft. If it was like one of those 64 mans where you pl definitely play against the people you draft with, then hell yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, well, this card's, I mean, feasible to play. I don't think it's really that great, but wow, look at these spirits. It's open, man. The Spirits deck is hella open. Oh, this card's actually feasible to play. It, it's like, it's an accelerator. It's a human werewolf that taps for mana, and then when it flips over, it taps for two mana. So that card's actually pretty good. I'm not actually happy. I'm not unhappy to pick this card up. Um, a few more token generators. Um... Of like a few more one drops and two drops, and I think this deck is looking really solid. We don't even do we even have any token generators? We have some, we have some, not a ton though. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control the creature with the greatest power or tide. Two mana reach, discard a card, gets plus one plus one until end of turn. I don't really like that. Exile target creature or other, and all other creatures its controller controls with the same name. They get they get investigate tokens. They get clues. Um, and then there's this guy, Maven, Maverin, Galton, and Ma Marvin or whatever. Maverin. Maverin. I call it Maverin, but I don't know. It might be Maverin. Yeah, I like this guy. Vampire cleric makes tokens stuff. Mm hmm. I think that's pretty good. The removal is pretty good too, but mm. yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the removal. What do you think, sweetie? Removal's fine. I just, you know, they're gonna get clues for it, but that's fine. Yeah. Better to have it than not have it. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, all right, what's this card do? At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a one-one counter. Up to one target creature you control. Then, if you control three or more, uh, three or more creatures with different powers, draw a card. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever it attacks, you may tap target creature. Okay, so this is like hard to block and stuff. And there's, that seems good. Yeah. Uh, there's this guy that's like a three mana four four that can't really attack. And then when it dies, you cast it from the graveyard, and then three turns later, they they lose the game. Your opponent. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you just pick that one. I don't care. I like the flyer, but whatever. You like the flyer? Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go with the flyer. I don't even know about this card. I mean, it can draw you cards. It distributes 1-1 one -one counters, but it seems pretty that's slow. Maybe that one. Yeah, it's slow, but that's why I was like, the two drop seems fine. Yeah. And it taps creatures, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Alteration angel. Do we even have anything to blink? Oh yeah, definitely. We can save creatures. We can, like, 
Oh, for okay. value, we could blink that. We could blink uh, this thing. There's not a ton of things we are like super happy to blink this card, this card. There's a few. Um, there's also creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. I don't know how many tokens we have. That's what I'm looking at real quick. Uh, not a lot. And then what? And fetch land. Oh, yeah. This does go get this, so that is another green, another green white source. We get both of them, right? Oh uh, well, no, these are the ones that don't have land types. See, they're just lands; they're not forests and plains or whatever. Oh, okay, well, then never mind. We get restoration angel. I mean, seems good. I do like saving creatures. You know, like oh, you're gonna kill my guy? No, you're not. Is that parallax wave? Oh no. No, oh, no, this is karmic guides. It's also in the vintage here when it. When it enters the battlefield, you can, like, uh, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, there's also this guy. He's a 5-mana 4-4 four, four with soul bond. So he soul bonds with another creature. Him and that creature get plus 4, plus 4. So this guy's kind of like a 5-mana 12-12. Twelve, twelve. Yeah. And then there's Thraven Inspector that's, like, you know, a one-drop human. Which is no, not bad, but I kind of like the idea of a 5-mana 12-12. Twelve, twelve. Yeah, this format's slower, too, so we want some houses. Yeah, this is definitely a house. Oh, nice. This card's great. Yay. This card's really good. What's this card do? I've never seen it. When it attacks, you make a wolf that's also attacking. Uh, for each creature card in your graveyard. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. But I think just the cheaper card is good. But that card's crazy good, too. If you have like four dead creatures, you attack and you make four, 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 two, twos. I mean, that's crazy. How many? Wait, 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 wait. How much? What's the mana difference? This guy's five and this guy's three. Yeah, I don't know. Pick. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I like having. I, my... We have so many more white cards. I think we're leaning more to white than. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a non-token creature if you do create X22's wolves, or X is the sacrifice creature's toughness. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's alright, I guess. This thing makes five one ones. And then when you cast it from the graveyard for nine mana, you get ten one ones. But that's like a lot of mana. <laughs> ten is a lot. Or nine mana is a lot. I guess we could try this card. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't think either of them we're going to play either of them, so it's just, you know, whatever. Another Oblivion Ring. Another Sigara. Humans you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever attacks, if you control three more creatures with different powers, look at the top five. You may reveal a human from among them and put it in your hand. Well, that's crazy good. We need to take that. Yeah, this card is really good. Oh, a Sarah. Nice. Creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one until they return. Create a 4-4 four, four flyer. You get an emblem. If you control it, if you control a creature, damage that would be, reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one. Wow. Okay. I like that. That's pretty flavorful. Well, wow, Gristlebrand was in this pack. I didn't even notice. Sorry, right, here's a two draw. We're able I to didn't post. notice that either. We must have been distracted. Yeah. This green white guy wheeled. We're in the right colors. I just don't know if. Well, no, for sure. If for sure we were in the right colors. Yeah, this is going to be hard. We have so many playables. We got like twenty nine. Every drop we've been doing, it seems like we've been in the right colors. Yeah, I think that's good. I feel like that's a good place to be in a format. You know what I mean? Like, uh, well, Thraven Inspector wheeled. Cool. It was crazy. Like, like uh. It's pretty, I feel like, I don't know if I'm just talking on my ass, but this format feels like it's fairly easy to identify what's the good, what's the open colors. You know, I might be a little over-exaggerating, but. Going for it and just being in the right cult, maybe we're just, you know, cutting people off. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. We're like so consistent with our picks. We're like, oh, we go on this one and then we'll take the cart, like, you know, a soldier or whatever, you know, it seems like. It seems, I just feel like we get rewarded, but maybe it's because of the way we're picking, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. This card's playable. Three mana equipment. Quick creature gets plus three, plus zero. As long as the creature's a human, it also has light flank. That's good. Yeah. Do we have any first strikers? 
Uh, I don't know. It would be good if that equipment had first strike too. Dude, that would just be crazy. I would to be better. It's like, you know, why can't you just add first strike to that? <laughs> it would probably be a rare at that point. Oh, is that a common? Or uncommon. I don't know the difference yet. Uh, I know it's like the first one is the mythic rare and the rare, and then the next three are the common, and then the, yeah. the next whatever's are the uncommons. Trying to find a common. Like when you open a pack, right? When you open a pack? Yeah. Trying to find a common. So I can give, show you an example. There's probably not a lot of common. Oh, here's a common. So see how the symbol, the mana symbol, or not the mana symbol, where it, see where it says creature, human, werewolf? Yeah, I know. I right. know where the symbol is. It's like there's black, silver, red, and yellow. Yellow. That's yeah. So, rare, mythic, common, uncommon. Okay. Um, so black is common, and then the silver is uncommon. Yep. All right. So we have so many cards. I'm just going to do the thing of just put the cards we're definitely going to play. Definitely going to play this. Definitely, 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 definitely. I'm playing all the cigars. I don't even know if they're good, but for for theme, they seem good. This card seems... Are they human, too? Huh? No, they're all angels. Oh, but the angels say... Oh, I guess that makes sense. They're human. They're angels that care about humans. They protect the humans. That's what these angels are. <laughs> I like how we're in the, the horror cube where we're like the angel human deck. <laughs> we're going to be playing against a bunch of people that have or the number 13 or whatever, demons and vampires. Yeah. Zombies. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Uh, the for sure cards. I think. Oh, where'd that one guy go? One or two bombs in there, too. What's up? Oh, just, you know, one or two big cards in there. But you don't think the fives are big enough? I don't know. I don't know. I just know this format's slow, and so it's yeah. like, you know, if we don't have a lot of removal, we're going to want our own bombs. Okay, we can put... This guy kills all the zombies. That might be a better sideboard card. I don't know. I mean, it brings all of our humans back to life. Yeah, um, that's that's it brings them onto the battlefield, right? Yeah, straight onto the battlefield. Well, let's count how many humans we have in our deck before. Okay. Um, so these are all like the consideration cards, I think. Like, how come you got, um, why isn't your beautiful face on the on the screen? Oh, I want to see you. Oh, okay. I miss you. Uh, well, you won't see it on. Discord, but I am now bringing my face to the world. The world can see my beautiful mug. Why won't I see it on Discord? Oh, because you're sharing your screen. Yeah, I'd have to bring it over here. Aww. Look, there's infinite of me. Now you get to see a lot of me. Here I am, here I am, here I am. Yeah. I should just get a, your face tattooed on my hand. Oh. And then I'm like, when I miss you, I can like, and I'll have it so it's facing me. So when I like look, when I... I miss you. I just pick my hand up. I'll be like, oh, I miss him so much. Oh, that's the cutest thing that I've ever heard. It makes me want to throw up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love it. That makes me so happy. Uh, okay, let's play this guy. Have some one drops. Where's the Thraven Inspector? I'm playing it. Well, I don't even I know. I like the Thraven Inspector. Yeah. I'm just like, we have... Like, are you one of the best one drops that was ever made? <laughs> yes. It was one of the greatest of all time. Um, no, I think it's Mother of Ruins for me. No, Mother of Ruins is quite good. I mean, so Mother of Ruins is more powerful when this card's won more points in Pro Tours and Grand Prix, but there's more Pro Tours and Grand Prix now than there were back when Mother of Ruins was played, you know? So, um, Do they ever do, like... Uh, throwback Grand Prix and stuff where it's like, oh, you can only play sets from like 1990? Uh, no. Well, but they do have like Legacy where you Grand Prix where you can play basically anything. They won't do vintage Grand Prix because not enough people have vintage decks to make a Grand Prix happen, you know what I mean? Well, can't they just do the fake cart? What is that called? Proxies. Proxies, They yeah. could, but... 
most they of the don't time. Want, like, they don't want to do proxies and like. Yeah, Magic doesn't want to pay tournaments where their people are using proxies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Okay, so we have like, I mean, here's our like, you know, we got to make three more cards in the deck. We have. These two cards, which are good, you know, this guy's pros, uh, vampires, werewolves, and zombies. This guy kills skeletons, vampires, and zombies. Like, okay. they're very good sideboard cards. Do you need a main deck? I don't know. You know? Like... I just like the, uh, the one... Are we playing that equipment? Uh, this is another card we can consider. Yeah. Oh, well... How many humans do we have? Uh, currently, we have one. We'll just do this separate. Okay, right. Currently, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven humans currently. Well, if we're going to play that angel, we might want to play more humans. Okay. All right. So we'll take that into consideration. So we'll just do. Here's our humans. The human. It is, but I don't think this card's really that good. All it does is put one one counters. It can draw you cards, but like, I don't know, it seems pretty slow. Like, I'm not trying to pay four mana for a zero one that puts one counter and then draws me a card. Like, it's also like onto an empty board, it just does nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Um, okay, so. There's also a human that's an accelerator. That's pretty good. And then, so here's our... Okay, so here's five humans that we're not playing. We also have this guy. There's three non-humans we're playing and two utility cards. So let's... Where do you want to start? We gotta. We can fit three in to our deck. I guess we'll start with the humans because you wanted to talk about humans. So here's a human that taps for mana and then flips into... A 3-4 that can tap for more mana. Um, we have this guy that has training. Remove two counters from it. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Um, which is fine. Three minion inspector. One drop, you know. Draws you a card. The undead slayer. The guy that can exile. I think this guy's hella good. I mean. Like. Enough people are going to be playing. Zomb uh, zombies or vampires. To make this card good and then at worst it's a three mana two two human you know and we side it out um yeah i think that's just a sideboard card you like it's a good sideboard card okay yeah uh we have the butcher's cleaver um you know we talked about that here's ranger's guild target creature you control gets plus one plus one and gains hexproof until end of turn um mm -hmm. do either of these cards fancy pique your interests Uh, I mean, I like the equipment. I think we should do the equipment and two more humans. Okay. I'll show you these last two cards, just to, to, or the last three cards. So there's this guy. Uh, reach, discard a card, it gets bigger until end of turn. Pretty boring, honestly. Like, I don't like that card. Yeah, I, I like it because it reminds me of Wildmonger, who's like one of my favorite creatures of all time. But the days of Wildmonger are far gone, like, past. When this guy attacks, tap target creature, the flying spirit dude. And then the wolf that when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Um, let's see. Okay, so you want to play two humans? Okay. Um, I like that first strike human. This guy? Mm -hmm. Pro vampires, werewolves, and zombies? Yeah, and I just feel like the... First Strike Vigilance with that equipment would be hella fucking good. Yeah, yeah. That would be good. Okay. We get it. It's another two drop to be aggressive with. Okay. So which of these do you like better? Thraven Inspector, the guy that makes a clue, you sack a draw card. Or the guy with training, uh, remove two counters, destroy an artifact or an enchantment. The training. Okay. Um... We have so many more. Well, we have no other forms of card draw, right? Because we didn't... Uh, let's see. Card draw cards. This I don't think we have any. Search for a card out of your deck. Land. Oh, wait. 
Um, are we playing the landfall guy? Yeah, Tyler Tracker. We have him. This vampire draws his cards. Oh, yeah. Um, I think one of these cigars, this guy can play humans and angels from the top of your deck. Which is basically right. like drawing cards. Um, okay. That uh, seems good. This guy, when you attack with three creatures with different uh, power, you get to put a human from the top five into your hand. So that's kind of like calling cards. Uh, this guy, what's this one do? This one doesn't do. This guy searches your deck for a human or a legendary card and puts it into your hand. And we have one, two, three, four, five legendaries. So that's like, you know, we'll have, well, it will hit one of them. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. And then does Sarah Angel draw you, or is Sarah the Beloved? No, this doesn't draw you. Any cards? Hmm. You you like this guy? I do. Okay, let's do it then. All right, let's get in two lands. It's gonna add. It's gonna want a bunch more for uh, planes than Boris. But I think that's uh, a little extreme. Maybe not that many. Do we have the same thing of that? No. Ooh. Let's do. Are these your lands? Yeah, these are the style of lands I own. I like that. You like that one? All right, well, that's pretty. Oh, let's go to this one, too. Cause they, I like to have a matching. Okay, so this would be 11 white sources and 8 green sources. Um, which I think is maybe even too many green sources and not enough white. We have one, two, three, okay, four, yeah, five, six green cards. Okay, how late? And it, we don't have a green card till turn three. Uh, the three drop. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it would be if we dropped we in. Two, yeah. We have two dual lands. Yeah, this would be seven twelve. That seems good. You like seven twelve? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Save the deck. All right. How well do you think this deck's going to do, baby? Uh, 3-0. 3-0. That's the attitude. I think it's going to do 6-0. 6-0, 3-0. We're not going to drop a game. Mm, okay, so card, let's think about cards we could sideboard in, right? Um... You know, we have the Slayer guy. Uh, this is definitely a good sideboard card. Um, mm, the Rangers Guild, if they have a lot of removal. Uh, I think those are our two main sideboard contenders at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, let's tell this guy good luck, have fun, obtain. I am Patrick. We played this guy just the other day. Oh, undo. Get that. Bop. Oh, other way. Of course. Um. Oh, of course, one land, yeah. It's a mulligan? Yep. All right. Okay. We can put back our seven drop, you know, that seems like a good card to put back. All right. Um, two drop into three drop if we draw another land. Uh -huh. Are we going first well, or second? We're going second. This guy goes and searches your deck for a land. Nice. So, yeah. So, we have two. Pl oh, well, we already have perfect mana anyway. So. Yep. 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 You can't ask for anything better than that. Nope. No, you cannot. And if you do, you're greedy. Say. So. What do you think is going to be the better of the two drops to play? Uh, I think, well, this one grows when you play more humans, but he also pumps all your humans when he enters the battlefield. And um, then is this better if we get, does the, the, one we, the one that we get a basic land for, do we get to put it on the battlefield tapped? No. Put it in your hand. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, whatever you think is better. Um, I would lean towards this guy, but that yeah, was when we didn't better. have the mana. Like, and then it will reshuffle the angel into our hand. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
play the plane so that I don't want to mess up next turn. Basic planes. Mm. So let's say we played this guy and attacked with it. We'd have it'd be a three four attacking. Could also then play this guy, turn four, pump our whole team. I don't know. Let's see. I think that seems good. Yeah. I'm wondering if he has any removal. Oh, this guy's pro. Werewolves. Is this guy a werewolf? It is. It's pretty good. Um, I think it's just better to play the best card right now, though. Yeah. If he has removal, he has removal. Next turn, we could, like, play yeah, this guy. To... Well, I mean, yeah, but that's a four-power toughness guy, too, so. Yeah. Or four tough... Four... Two-four. Oh, is it two-four now? Well, I know, but what yeah. is... The... Hmm? Power and toughness. So the toughness would be the four, and the power would be the two. Yes. I always get them confused because I'm dyslexic. So. Really? I. Okay. Just the the, the fuck it. What is that? Is that the minus thirteen? Minus thirteen. Yeah. Of fucking course. <laughs> right when it's, it's hard to kill the four. What's up, baby? Are you get the pumpkins? Later. Okay. Uh, okay, we take some. Yeah. What'd you say, baby? Uh, nothing. What? That's clear, bro. He's down there. Come down. Stop yelling. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a, there's a strawberry thing or a zebra cake. All right, eat a zebra. Strawberry thing. Johnny, Johnny, Okay, let's say, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's better to just keep this guy on defense. We got, I don't want him to flip this card over and start yeah. getting two twos and stuff. What? Oh, is that the zombie card? Yeah, if he, he kills it, he gets to get a two two. You killed it? Hmm. Uh, Quarko, where's the cakes? Find them. They're in the pantry, dude. Yeah, you can. If you can't find them, you can't have them. You can find them, dude. Jesus, save Christ. Where's the... Where's the... Where's the cakes? The... Let's see, what is this guy doing? What's he up to? Come on, where are they? Find them. Find them, dude. They're like easily visible. I organized everything. They're they're like. Christ. All right, what is this guy doing? I wonder if he has removal. He's got three cards in hand. It'll be hard to kill this guy. No, you've had your popcorn. You don't get one of those. Are both of, the, are both of them werewolves? Uh, this one's a werewolf. This one's a human wizard. Mm. Did you play that 2-2 two -two first striker before the, yeah. that monk guy came up? Yeah, this guy pumps all your humans when it enters the battlefield. So now it's a 3-3? Three -three? Yeah, so it's a 3-3 three -three now. Yeah, nice. nice. Give me a little. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me have some. Hey, there's Just no fancy thing on it. That's fine. I don't. I don't need it. All right. Um, there we go. I was just gonna dump. Okay. Wait. Oh my. All right. He's going in. <laughs> Sending the team. Jesus, Johnny. Why are you guys making so much noise? What's going on? It's like an army is down here. All right, he's killing our guy. That's annoying. So we're saving all of them at that. Uh, so it doesn't even matter what we block. This guy's going to flip unless we throw away one of our creatures. I don't know why we would throw it away. It's going to flip regardless, right? Well, no, we could like block like this and it will take one damage. 
you, uh, help um, but like, I don't know. If we played this guy, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be tough, and no matter what we do. Um, do you think throwing away our guy is worth him just getting a two-two? I don't know. This the thing is, they can start exiling creatures from the graveyard and getting more two-twos. Like he's like gonna just get so many. Um, I don't know. This guy is pretty good. I feel like trading this is pretty good. That's probably oh, worth it. Oh, we could also kill the bigger creature. This guy flips to a 4-3. Yeah. This guy flips to a 3-3. Three, three. And then... Yeah, alright. We'll do that. That seems fine. Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, when the last thing goes, he gets two two twos. He only has one card left in hand. Hopefully we... I mean, like... I don't know. If he doesn't end up doing this, like, for a while, maybe we can draw that angel and that would be good. Alright. One, two, three. Play this guy. Pl who will grow bigger because of this. Play a land. Tap for a planes. Play this guy. His g our guy goes bigger. Okay, so now you have a three, three, which I don't want to attack with, obviously. Alright. Um. So when does that guy start making clues when he attacks? Uh, when we play lands. So we already got one. Oh, we have a clue. Oh. Yeah, the landfall. That's the landfall trigger. Oh, okay. And it grows bigger. That's hella good. For yeah. Three mana. Yeah. It's like card advantage. Uh, you know, he's a can start growing to be a serious threat. Alright, he's dealing three damage to our guy. That sucks. Oh well. Unfortunate. Um now he can like attack for six or something. I don't know. I don't know how much he's gonna attack for. Are those zombies two twos? Yeah. And we have a four three? No, a three two. Oh damn. Yeah, we need just if we had one more mana we could sacrifice the clue and stuff, but I think we just take six, it's like not the worst. Yeah, that's nothing right now. Yeah. We have so many cards we could draw to. I mean, what are we drawing to though? Was um could we play the angel one three five? No. No. But we have a lot of good angels in or a lot of good five drops in our deck. Oh, so he exiles the creatures and they create make two twos? Yeah. That's the same does. Oh, oh there we go. That guy's pretty good. Um, four four. Right, and then we get, and what 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 happens when we? Ha we can play humans from the top of our deck, and all the rest oh, of our nice. cards all gain hexproof. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. It, he does have like not inevitability with this card, but currently he can make one, two, three, four more two twos. So it will cost him, you know, a lot of mana. But three isn't that much to make a two two, so. All right. No. When he's like, he's you know, he's got six men. He can make two a turn. Mm. Yeah, I mean, fuck. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. We'll see. I mean, this guy will be good to cast next turn. And then may, like, wait, we never you cast a creature spell, so we could play this guy, then cast this guy, and we get another one one with training. You know. Um, oh, okay. That's not bad. All right. So, I don't know. This guy can... So this card, this card's... This card, or the card. Exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. So, like... If he's got a land in hand, you can just turn that into a spell, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah, so... I don't know. We're in a... Not the best of shape, but not the worst. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we so the quest I mean blocking this guy gets a two two off the table forever, you know. Blocking this guy makes it so he'll eventually be able to, you know, exile it and stuff, so I don't Might know. as well just block the two two. The zombie one? Yep. Okay. Yeah. How much damage is that one doing? Two three? 
Well, this guy actually can flip into a 3-3 that makes all of this guy's bigger, so maybe it's worth it. He can, oh, and plus, okay. like, we've got one, two, three, four cards, so at worst, or at best, that's three turns from now that, like, you know, this changes anything. Oh, well, let's block the best guy and not worry about three turns from now. We might not Hopefully make it to he that. he doesn't have a shock or something. Huh? Hopefully he doesn't have a shock or something. Yeah, I mean... If he does, he does. We'd just lose that way. Oh, drawing the angel would be hella good because it exiles all zombies. It would just kill his board. But That's what I'm saying. Come on, angel. Also a lot of mana. Okay, one, two, three. Cast this guy. Mm, play this guy. Sacrifice self... Or play selfless spirit. Uh, get another human. Now our blocks look pretty good for a little while. Because um, we can sacrifice this guy and save all our other creatures, so. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Exiling the guy. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Training dudes. Oh, we have hex proof, so he can't even shock us. He can shock this guy though. The rest, everything else gains hex proof, not this guy. Yeah, and we're gonna have to be making some blocks. Alright. It'll be good though. I think this is good for us. He just threw away a lot of creatures. What just happened? Was I yielding through turns? No way, was I? I swear I didn't. Uh, what happened? Oh man, I don't know. I, I fucked. I done fucked up. I guess. Why? What happened? I was going to sacrifice this guy to save all of our creatures, but it just like skipped through it. I don't Jesus know. Jesus Christ. Uh, you need to have like a PhD in Moto, I swear. Alright, come on. Human on top. Human be below this guy. Uh, okay. Sacrifice this draw card. Dude, that's so bad. That's so That unpushed. is bad. That was our fucking... That was our win con, yeah. Ugh, oh, now he's... Ugh! Oh. Alright. Dude, that's so bad. Hopefully there's we can cast angels on top, right? Okay. It's gonna exile two more guys. God damn it. That's so that's so annoying. I guess I did, but I did not mean to, that's for sure. Alright, we need to draw that angel and then if we do we we will win, but if we don't, we're gonna lose probably. Cause like, yeah, we won't get as many guys back because it'll exile them, but it'll kill all the zombies that he makes. So like we just we need to draw that guy soon. Is that the werewolf? Yeah. God damn. We have so many humans on our deck and we haven't drawn one. Yeah, like there's been none on top with this guy in play. We hit every, That's annoying. We're hitting like every other creature in the world. Dude, I swear that was so bad, dude. I didn't How did that happen? It yielded through it? Yeah. Or you did yeah, I just, I don't know. I guess I, like, yielded through it. But I did not, I swear I didn't mean to. I mean, I knew what my game plan was. I guess I did, but I certainly did not mean to do that. Because I knew what my plan was. I was like, gonna block. That would have been so good for us. We would have had so many creatures left in play. And he would have yeah, lost. Won. Yeah, we would, I mean, I think we would have won from there. That was so tragic. Okay, come on, let's draw. That angel. Block, block. Just stop or, going so fast. I guess I'm just gonna put. I'm putting my hand in my pocket. I'm not clicking that six button. I'm not getting anywhere near that stuff. I'm gonna click through every single option. The rest of this fucking draft. Uh, yeah, that would have been so much better. 
Okay, I'm just going to throw away my guy to prevent some damage. I mean, don't we have to? I mean, we could go to one, but that doesn't sound very good. Especially considering, like, the only way we're winning is destroying that angel, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have just enough. Come on, Angel on top. Yes! Alright, well, you know, we're still not out of the woods yet. But that was a hell of a start. Okay. I'm also thinking I attack for four this turn. Because this guy can't attack unless he controls a creature with power four or greater. Okay. This guy, like, can get to four power, but not next turn. Uh, so, like, this guy could get in front of this. He's going to start making more creatures, so we need to start getting in there. This guy can... Turn, like, you know, make one of our guys, like this guy, eight power. So then we can kill him over two turns. We can exile this other thing, you know, like. Oh, exile all. Exile target creature and all other creatures. His controller controls with the same name. So this could kill all of his zombies. That would have been a good draw to two. I mean, the angel would have been better, obviously, but. Well, let him make a bunch of zombies and let's fucking kill him. Yeah. The thing he can do it at instant speed, and this is a sorcery, so. Oh. Um. Uh, so that's a womp womp moment, but overall, I think we're still doing really good. We kill him in just a couple turns. Oh, okay, that guy makes some tutus. Yeah. But we can exile the tutus. Okay, that's a blocker. Oh my god. What? This guy can give a creature plus two, plus two, vigilance, and haste. So turn this guy into four power that activated this guy, so now we die. We take awesome. three. Wow, what a top deck. All right, all right. You know, whatever. Let's move on. Let's let's uh, focus on this next game. What's up, baby? He probably twisted it and broke it. Well, how do you all your charging cables break? I don't. Okay, go Please. to the Corpo's car and get my car, my charger out of the car. Okay, can you can you please shut my door? Well, you need to be more careful. Okay, so this guy exiles skeleton vampires and zombies. He had one card that had zombies, but. I don't know if that's really necessary. He had a thing that was minus 13, minus 13. He had a brimstone. He had multiple pieces of removal. I think this card will be pretty good. Um, let's see. Um, this might be a liability if we exile something and then he kills the creature and gets his guy back. Is that mom on your phone? Yeah. We we're playing games. If my car, yeah, I'm up here. we're on Discord right now. I'm up here because yeah. I don't feel really good. Car, if my car is locked, I think the keys are up here. Go check though; it might be unlocked. I'm not sure. Do I have the keys. I don't I know where they. Always lock your door, baby. I think they might be upstairs. Okay, you want the die roll? Would you like to play? Yes. All right. This is pretty good. Well, we have the Hexproof, we have the Restoration Angel, we got a 2-drop, we have the Valor card. Seems good. Yeah. 
I like the idea of playing this on turn three, right? Attacking for two, then he tries to kill it or whatever, then we Restoration Angel it, get, making another 1-1. One, one. Does that creature have flash? Which one? What? This the one? flyer. Yeah, this guy. Oh, this no, guy's just flying. One. This guy's just flying. What's up, Katana? What are you, what's going on? When are we going to get... When are we going to get, um... Pumpkin to fight Later in the day? Maybe, like, once this is done, an hour or so, maybe? I don't know. We're going to carve him tomorrow, though. Should be cool. Wait, we're we'll carving them tomorrow? Yeah. I, I think we, so. I thought we were carving them today. No, I, it, I don't know. Mom's carving them today. Oh, I don't know, man. It just depends, Katana. Depends um, on when we get them, you know? What are we doing for dinner? I don't know. Are we We got, uh, Katana, you picked dinner party. tonight. What do you want again? Uh, the mac macaroni cheese. and cheese and oh. the... Oh. We need to... Yeah, macaroni oh, and cheese and asparagus. Yeah. And then, uh, so the ground beef needs to get out of the freezer. Okay, the ground beef needs to get out. Oh, it's in the freezer? All right, I'm going to take it out real quick. Did you put it in the freezer? Who put it away? I put it in the fridge. Oh, then it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, where? Uh, yeah. The camera's right there. Oh. Why did you? Uh... What's up, guys? What are you doing down here, Katana? She's waving at the camera. I can't see. What well, can't see? What? Her waving. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to move it over here. Katana, wave. Hold on. Face. Hi. Hello. Hi, Internet. What's up? <laughs> Wait, what am I moving? Just grab that, pull that back over here. Bada boom, bada bam. Okay, so let's draw. He played another guy. Okay. Um, that seems good. Yeah, this guy. Oh, wait, is that the one that transforms? No, this is the guy that gives two creatures plus four plus four. This should be good. I know if we put him on the flyers. Yeah, that'll be good. Exactly. So. So you can blink, you can block with the one one flyer and then blink it, right? Yeah, so my game plan is he's going to like attack, like currently how I envision it. If he has nothing, he turns both of these guys sideways. We Restoration, blink this guy, get another spirit. The spirit blocks this guy, and the Restoration Angel blocks this guy. And that would okay. really mess him up. Okay, he's only attacking with that. I still think we're going to play the Restoration Angel, targeting our guy, make another token. Yeah. And then block this guy. And if he's got a trick, he's got a trick, you know? Yeah. It's like no big deal. You might have like a shock or something that would kill it, but we still have gone two for one. He gets a blood token, a blood for the blood god. Let's see. Mm. Playing this with five mana is okay, but if we could, if we drew a green source, I might want to wait a turn because then we could give it hexproof. Yeah, so he used that card. So now. We, uh, you know, we dealt with two cards for one. That seems pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, this guy doesn't do anything on this board, unfortunately. It only gives humans bigger, and we just got a bunch of spirits. Okay, why don't we make the flyers 4-4s? Four like, just turn one of them into a 5-5? Five five? Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Um... Yeah, we'll do it on the non-token, because we don't want... Because this guy's also a threat. So let's attack with both of these. Attack for six. Is it only that big as long as that guy's out there? Yeah. And then let's say he kills this guy. He, uh... This guy becomes a... F like... If, so the soul-bound creatures are together, they both get the ability, and then if one dies, the other one loses the ability. But the next, like, let's say this guy died, right? The next time we play a creature, we it, we can choose it to soul-bound with this guy. Oh, okay. Paired with spirit. I like it. 
I like to see they're both wispy, you know, wisp like look at this guy. He's got some stuff going on him around him, and so does this guy. So they seem oh, like wow. they I think they're soul bonded with each other. Right? Yeah. Deal five damage to each creature. That sucks. That's just gonna kill everything. That was brutal. Too bad we didn't have one more green source. Yep. Um but we also only had that was turn five, so you know. We, yeah. we risked it for the biscuit. Um Yeah, I think putting getting a one one counter on this guy is better than putting a one one counter on this guy. So now we got a couple creatures in play. This one could grow. This guy can kill something. We can give one of our guys hexproof. He tries to kill something. We at least have some like business happening, you know? All right, yeah, we, that's good. We can kill off that guy. Destroy target creature with toughness four or greater. No. Untap. Human would be good. An angel would be good. That card's great. What card is it? Uh, it's a it's power and toughness or kills the number of humans you control. It also creates two spirits when it comes into play. Oh my! Nice. So. Everything's gonna be. And that guy gets bigger, right? Yeah. So now he's a five-five. That other guy becomes a two-two. We're attacking for four. He already used one like wrath of God type effect, you know. So hopefully he doesn't just have another one in hand. Yeah. If he did, that would be pretty unfortunate. But if he doesn't, I mean, like he's gonna die like hella quick. <clears throat> yeah. Pay one life, mill, discard a card, draw. Throw to her creature. Okay. So he's going to be able to kill that guy, but he had to, you know, burn a lot of resources for that. Kill the 5-5? Five five? Yeah, he killed the 5-5. Five five. But whatever. All right. He's off of it. Yay. All right. Let's see. We would have won that. We would be winning this match if we didn't fuck up. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm, all right, let's see. Flame Inspector. Another one drop to play. Another human. Um. Now nah, let's just run it. This deck is good. I like this deck. I really like this guy, Angel of Glorious Rise. It was pretty cool that the very first game we played, it, it came into play. All right. Yeah. So we have a double white and only one white, but and but the our hands loaded with three drops. So I think this is good. We're gonna be drawing cards. You know. I think this is pretty good. Playing this guy out is pretty good, because whenever we cast a creature, we get another dude, and we have our just hand is just filled with dudes. The best thing to draw yeah. would be like a, a two drop right now, but because that could like go a long way. Oh, it would go a long, long way because if we don't get to play something this turn, this guy's gonna flip over. <sighs> Boo! That sucks. Okay. Hopefully we don't fall too behind. All right, he didn't play a three drop. That's good. Um, let's play out. I think this guy is, you know, the best because then when you play it, you start playing more humans or more creatures. We start getting a lot of value. And right now it's just a two mana, uh, a two two, so he's like less likely to kill it. We like played yeah. out this guy. He might. It just gets a big target on his head. And this guy can get out of hand if he doesn't have some. Big removal spell. Oh, he didn't even play a land that turn. Oh, that's great for us. Okay. Let's play a white source and play both of these guys, I think. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, cast this guy. And this guy's going to be so big, he's going to, like, train all of these cards that we're about to play. Like, this is, you know, if this uh, works out. Like, if he doesn't play anything next turn, like, he's just dead. It's over. 
Like, he's probably looking for a mountain. If he doesn't play something this turn, he's just going to concede. All right, he played a forest and conceded anyway. Nice. Yay. Whew. All right. Round two. What? 3-0, baby. Here we come. Speaking of baby. Hey, baby. What? I love you. I love you, too. You want a snack? You had a snack, right? You grabbed... I want a snack. Which yeah, that is super sweet. I want, like, something that is better. What? It's just like a... Like one of those strawberry roll things. Yeah, you got one, right? Didn't Johnny bring you one? Yeah, but I want something else. <laughs> uh, what do you want? I don't know. Okay. You want, like... Half a pe you want to share a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with me? Uh, no, I don't want anything sweet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> top ramen. Top ramen. Okay. Well, call Katana to make me it. Uh, she upstairs. I think she's upstairs. Uh, I'll call her. I like how you like tell Katana, but she then she has to use the the thing and stuff. You okay with yeah, that? True. I can I can just make it. I'll do it. I'll start it up real quick. You're the best. I want the noodles long. Did he kill our guy? What happened? Oh, I didn't hit F6. Damn it. Oh, yeah. I gotta tell this guy good luck. Have fun. With me. Oh, no. He killed our guy. <laughs> no. He did kill our guy. No. I shouldn't have said anything. Okay. Uh, let's play the angel. That's a pretty good card to draw. We get to play two cards next turn. What is it? This guy just searches for a basic plane, so we could, like, cast it, then cast this. Oh, it only looks for a planes? Yeah. And also, because we're shuffling our deck, maybe there'll be another human that we'll be able to play instead. Get some value. Oh, oh it's a five-mana human. Almost. It was almost cool. Yeah. Okay. Pretty awesome. This guy makes a 1-1, one, one, but this guy can only block flyers, so this 1-1 one, one gets through. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh, mind control. All right, that's fine, though. We can kill this. Oh, we can't. Oh. Oh, how unfortunate. What? So, this guy gives all your cards hexproof. We have a removal spell to get our card back, but we can't target it because of Sigara. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right? So it's like, that is a womp, womp, womp moment, for sure. Okay, um... Can he attack with ours? Yeah, next turn, he can, for sure. It's his creature. Uh... Oh, we can't, we can't, oh, is that the 3-3 three, three card? This one's the one that makes some dudes, some humans. For his cards, the mind control card, is that the one that we drafted? That's a five yeah. mana three? Th yes, yeah, yeah. Damn, he got hella lucky. Yeah. I'm thinking about playing this guy, making this guy bigger, or this guy bigger. Attacking with it and this guy. Well, so we'll, this guy will be attacking for... Five. This guy will be attacking for five, so we're attacking for ten this turn. And that then, seems good. Like, mm. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what are the? Get another one out there, so have some blockers. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's like our best line to win. We're swinging at him hard. Uh, he gets to block that guy and takes... Oh, he's going to block that guy too. Okay, take five. Lose one of your cards. I keep setting up the run. Do I need all the chips? Oh, no, I didn't. He's like almost gone. You won, baby. He conceded? Wow. Why? That was weird. Hey, baby, do you know why that guy conceded? What happened? I don't know. I kind of closed my eyes for a second. <laughs> um, I was wondering, did you, um, did, have you had any of those potato chips yet? No. Alright. Because they're like, there's not very many left. But, uh, yeah, it's all good, whatever. Are we keeping? Yeah, baby, this guy searches for land. We're on the draw. Nice, okay. I wonder what happened. I guess he just thought our 88 was too big and conceded. Oh, we had an 8. Oh, he gets 4. four. Okay. He could have killed her, like, you know, chump blocked and yeah. whatever. He could have blocked with our own creature, I mean. It didn't seem like a, uh, no, right, I concede type of moment to me. But, yo, what do I know? Okay. It's this guy. Check for one. I'll trade my guy for your guy, and we get another 1-1, one, one, so. All right, I'm going to keep messing with this ramen noodles. Entertain the chat. Um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, so me and Nicholas, aka Cuervo, aka Hulte, got a townhouse and we've been living here for like a little over a month now. It's really nice. Nicest place I've ever lived since I moved out of my dad's house, so like 20 years or something. Maybe not that long, maybe. 16 years, 17 years. What are we talking That's about? Crazy. Uh, our townhouse and how this is the nicest house I've lived in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You... What's up? Nice. This is the nicest place I've ever lived in in my whole life. I mean, maybe the house I was in high school with, but that was not mine, you know. That was, like, with my own money. This is the nicest place I've ever been. Yeah, me too. I mean, and, but you know, it's funny because yeah, this is the nicest place I've ever lived, but it really wants me, it drives me to desire more, you know, like in a good way. Like I don't look at it as though it's, this is not enough. I look at it as like, I want to work harder and keep up motherfucking taining so I can get my own house like this one day. Yeah. But even better. We're going to have a super nice house. Yes, we are. We're going to have the biggest shower on earth. It's going to be a pool. But but it's a shower. No, I love the showers. The nicest thing in our house is going to be the, sh or I guess, our shower. Yes, the nicest thing in the house is going to be the shower. Yes. 
I'm like, hey, come on. I'm like, invite people over. Yeah, come on over. We'll take a shower. They're like, what? Oh. I'm like, I mean, watch your movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like just invite people over and be like, hey, you want to take a shower in my shower? It's hella nice. Go take a shower. So like, oh, I, 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 I have like group showers. Oh, no, 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 no. After like, uh, after dark showers, no, no, no. That. I was uh, like, I don't think upside down pineapples <laughs> are yet. Oh, dude, the upside down pineapple, nice. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we're at that stage yet. But maybe <laughs> I'm like, you know. Um, what's that, uh, um, oh, I don't even, I don't remember, have you ever seen that video that's like, it's a, this guy's house that's like, it's a shower, but it like, it's like thunderstorms, and it's like, it's really, it's like basically its own room, and it has like, like LED lights on the side, not like LED, but they're like, kind of like, it makes it, makes you feel like you're in a thunderstorm, it has like, it's like very cloudy feeling and it's got like brr, 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 like rumbling thunder sounds and like water's just coming down from everywhere. It's really cool. I'd like, dude, that's what I want. I've never even heard of that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's hella cool. I'd do that. I want it. Oh, I get tired. It's, uh, I did not. I, we slept until like, what, 10, but 9 9 50. Mm hmm. Like eight hours. Yeah, well, I mean, I went to bed at like three thirty, and then woke up like seventeen times. Well, like six times. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's unfortunate, but you know, let me keep che checking on these ramen new towels. Right, let me. I'll do my next turn, which is hopefully forest. Forest. Ah, boo! All right. What's what's Matt say? Draw. <laughs> I like old man Matt. We deal with this old guy. He's funny. Wait, it's only turn two. Huh. I don't even need it. I don't. I don't even want the forest till next turn. Oh, I got a dedicated run. Super. Baby, talk ramen incoming. Yay. All right, I'm going to put this on mute for a second. Baby, open the door. I love you. Every time I get up on the microphone, I got a dedicated round to you, girl. Come on. All right, let's do this. What's he doing? I like it. I love it. Oh. Oh, that's right. If we did like drew a plant, a forest plant, would I even play this guy or this guy on turn four? I think this guy making an angel. That top ramen is hot as fuck. Huh? So that top ramen is hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I kicked it in that walk thing. I made the perfect amount. Oh, that the little one or the big one? Uh, the one with the wooden handle. Oh, um, we aren't doing shit. <laughs> huh? Is that Liliana? Yeah, the last hope. Make sure Which one is that one? Up to 
One target creature gets minus two, minus one till end of turn. Mill two cards and return a creature from your graveyard. Minus seven, you start making a shitload of zombies. All right, well, we got to kill that bitch. Yeah. That bitch is need. That bitch needs to die. Does that create? Does that create a? Are we doing the planeswalker, Sarah? Yeah, we could do that and make a, an angel and then like, block, I guess, or something. Or, or we could play this guy and. That seems pretty good too. Start attacking this. Well, we can't really attack it because it's gonna minus two it or minus, minus two minus one will be its uptick. So we'll never act. But then we can start like, I don't know. It's. I think playing this and then blocking is all right. You know, it gets yeah. this guy off the battlefield. It, you know, you know, it's. Well, what is that creature's power toughness? This is the oh, one one yeah. death touch lifelinker. You know. Oh, so we're gonna. So our angel will die. Yeah, we could up ticket plus two. That's actually not too bad, and then, you know. That's actually pretty good. Well, Uptick what? Well, we could... Uh, creatures you control get pl with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn. But... Like, it puts it at six. I mean, let's just make a an angel block and then start upticking and trying to defend it. Keep it oh, alive. yeah, because then we can just play the creature next turn and uptick. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, maybe even start, like... I don't know. We'll 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 figure it out from here. Also, like, yes, this card makes us hunt through the zombies slowly, but we could just maybe exile all of them and like have a big reset on his board. So that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, seems good. I mean, I'm glad this guy's playing so slow too. Fuck. No, you mean like yeah, yeah, he's not slow I mean, like our guy last to, night. We don't even have to block. We don't even have to block. But the angel will die. Sarah will die if we don't. Oh, because that has that. Oh, it kills planeswalkers? Well, no, it only has one loyalty left. Oh, oh he killed our guy well, and he killed Sarah. Okay, well, burst, well worst of. Us. Yeah, well, fuck me in the butt. Yeah. All right, let's see. Well, yeah, uh, man, that's rough. We need a. A forest would be just delightful. Because she's about to do her. Yeah, ultimate in a couple oh. turns, yeah. Which would be uh, hella bad. Hella. Hella bad. Dude, we have like every angel in our deck right here. One, two, three. There's one angel we're missing. One of the cigar. Uh... Yeah, four. Four angels in our deck and one planeswalker that makes angels. And we hit you like all of them. Ugh. Come on, just give me a forest. Um. For the food, I love you. Oh, no problem, sweetie. You know I got you. Always. Let me check that, make sure that ground beef. God, he killed another one of our guys. I just want to check if the ground beef is actually. I don't think it is. It's good, it's in the fridge. It's in the bottom drawer. All right, what do we draw? Let's see. The life total is down to 13. Hey, look, it's a green source, but it's enters the battlefield tap. But did you see our life so our life totals thirteen? Yeah. Oh, thirteen. Tricks of decaphobia. Hopefully he doesn't play that and kill us. Our angel number is thirteen. And we have angels. So look, we're thirteen with the angels, so mm -hmm. it, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's all uh it's all starting to come together. At the beginning of your end step, create two okay, yeah, he's gonna start making a bunch of Bunch of zombies, but we'll hopefully be able to kill them all. <laughs> huh? How does he make the zombies? Um, at the beginning of your end step, create X two two zombies, where X is the number X, where X is two plus the number of zombies you control. So, like next turn, he'll get four. 
So how many uh how many lands more lands do we need? Oh, two more. Two more, yeah. We could play like two cards that can block the zombies for days. Um that can block one for days. <laughs> um yeah, we're in rough shape right here, right now. Right here, right now, right here. We need to get. A, we need to, you know, get right, lands. Yeah, I agree. We should have played the card that we could play this human soldiers. Is, do we not have that card? The uh, human soldiers. What? Or the humans. The card that we can play the soldiers on top. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's killing our guy. What a dick. Um, I'm glad he killed that guard, though, because this guy's better than that guy. This guy can just block his dudes for days. Probably just has more removal. Nice. Yep, he did. Yep, okay, so we're taking three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, yeah, we just don't have enough time to come back. We're going to die. We might yeah. as well just concede. Yeah, let's move on. All right. All right, what I'm going to do in this matchup is bring in more early game aggression. I'm going to bring in all of our ones and two drops and stuff like that. Cards that can just, like, help us stay alive. Um, we're going to take out some of this expensive stuff, like, uh, I don't know. This guy, double green card. I'm not trying to play a double green card. Um... Angel is good, but it's so much mana, I don't want it on the play. If it ever gets to the point where this matters, we're probably just going to lose the game anyway. Mm. Maybe cut... He has a decent number of removal, so this seems like could be... Uh, detrimental at times. And then we'll pour... We'll take out... We've got to keep all the angels, so it's either the Lancer or the Geist. Um, Whatever one you think is better. I think, uh, I think this one's better because it's more value. So we'll play it like that. All right. All right, this hand's good. We have one white source, second one that can come into play. Or two. Then turn three, we can start, like, popping off. Play this. Does that card go in tap? This land does, but this one doesn't, no. So we need a white source. We need a planes. Yeah, this one counts as a planes. No, I know, but we need another planes because isn't that two drop a double planes? Uh, No, this is a three drop. They're both threes. So we have perfect oh, okay. time to play this land, yeah. Okay, I got confused. The thing I'm confused, I'm, well... Not confused about, but like I don't know which one of our guys we play first. This guy, when you play creatures, you get tokens. But this guy, when you play creatures or cr small creatures come to play, you draw cards. So well, we need to play draw cards, babe. Okay, so we'll do the card draw. We don't want to be hyper aggressive. Okay. Well, we want cards because those cards can draw us more yeah. cards and creatures. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. What about if he has, um, like, removal? Would it be better to play this or this? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. like, now we're he starting has to take. removal, so I, it might not even matter. All right, yeah, we'll play this card now. Tack. Do you have to pay two to sacrifice the clue? Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah. Felt like it was better to get our tap land in. We'll get to sacrifice this well, eventually. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I, sorry. Yeah, I don't think so, but it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I like to get tap lands in when you get the opportunity. Oh, no, but we have so much mana already. We already have four. So, yeah. and like the most expensive creature we have is five. So. Yeah. yeah. But like if we're drawing multiple cards a turn with this or something, like, you know, we might get. Or we play multiple cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very... There's 
pros and cons to both sides of that coin. You know what I mean? Yeah. I liked how when me and Katana were playing earlier, I like put the land, I put that energy. We were playing Pokemon, guys. We're teaching you how to play. And I put a, uh, an ener- is she here? No. Yeah, I put an energy on top of her deck so she could like get one more attack in. We're like, hey, go over there and do something real quick. And then I grabbed an energy, put it on top of her deck because we knew she needed it. And then she killed my Pokemon. And then instead of putting out a Pokemon that would have just won the game instantly, I switched out to another Pokemon to make it interesting. And she was like, yeah. Yeah, it was super cute. Yeah. She got so excited when she drew the energy. She was like, yes! She like did a little... I'm like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because, like, you know, you don't have any kids or anything, but, like, just coming in and then, you know, stepping up and being a stepdad, you're doing a really good job. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. They're good kids, you know? They're a little obnoxious, but I feel like every child... I was obnoxious, you know? So, like, yeah. <laughs> all of us were. You know, if you're out there listening to this and you're like, I wasn't an annoying kid. Well, you are wrong. Yeah. Lies. Guarantee it. Yeah. Lies. Yeah. You're misconstruing your, how your brain works. All right. So now I think we definitely play this guy first because this guy can give minus two, minus two to something. So, you know, like better to yeah. play the guy that can, will survive. True that. That's playing hell. You said I'm glad this guy's playing fat or slow. Uh, but now not he's starting like to play. Slow, like, yeah. Not not like that. Yeah. Now he's playing hella slow, but the different type of slow. Yeah, see, we didn't need to play the top land. Yeah, you never you never know. It'll it'll call it'll all work out in the end. Okay, let's see. Well, we could have cracked the clue and then, you know, been a card ahead. It's all fine. Uh huh. No. <laughs> what a fucking joke. God damn it, dude. What a fucking joke. If that's what you call a joke, I'm not impressed. Um,. So, like, well, this is minus minus, so this can't even save this guy. So we might as well just jam it out there. And f I guess we could also just, like, sacrifice the clue looking for something else and maybe yeah, play that. this in tandem with another card to, like, actually generate value. So let's just do that. It's going to be a land. Calling it now. Unfortunate. Come on, spell. 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 Any spell. I don't care what it is. Spell, 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 spell. How do you spell it? L A N D. <laughs> Fuck. Barutal. I love you. I love you too, baby girl. Shorty, you're my baby. My baby. My baby. My baby. I'd love to draw like a two drop to play with this card. So I can like... Train him? Yeah, like actually get a trigger from it. Be really nice. So if we can't get at least one token out of it. Oh, well. Well, shit. Are those both humans? Yeah. Uh, we can put the equipment on the three being inspector and attack, and he has lifelink, right? Yeah. Is that one a defender up there? This guy is a three three. The thing is, it costs five six mana. And we only have five, so we can only do one of anything. Oh. But I think getting the cleaver out now is better, you know, because then we could do and two I'll things next turn, like play this guy and equipped and attack or whatever, you know. Okay. I think this is also only a sorcery speed, yeah, so if he has removal, gotta like do it during his turn. Well, if it's that guy. 
if he has other removal. He seems to have a lot of removal. His Grixis deck seems right, quite good. His deck. Um, he's got good lands and stuff. Desolute Lighthouse. Desolate. Would you ever live on a lighthouse? Would I? Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not like The Ring. The Ring? You know that movie, The Ring? Yeah. I can't remember exactly, but it has maybe it's not. Yeah, it is the ring and the well and the lighthouse. I am I. I don't remember a lighthouse in it. I re, I don't re remember seeing the ring, but I probably did. But it was a long, long, long time ago. If I did, so. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I'm upstairs by myself, and the curtains are closed, and it's dark, and we're <laughs> like doing my magic and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm seeing the number 13 everywhere, and then I'm like, well, I read angel numbers on the 13 yesterday, and then we're playing an angel deck, so I guess I'm being protected right now. Yes, you are. Mm. So we could play this guy, play this, kill his guy, attack for one. We could Let's do it. we could equip what? the thing, kill his guy, attack for four. We could equip the thing, play this guy, attack for four. We have so many options here. Well, we're going to gain four to two, right, <laughs> if we equipped it? Uh, if we equipped it. Yeah, I think equipping should definitely be part of the plan. So let's equip and attack and see what happens. White. Yeah, I like that. We can give it indestructible and kill his creature. Mm -hmm. We can kill his creature and it like guaranteed to get in our damage, but I don't know. Oh, we can kill it? Yeah. I actually would prefer to give our guy indestructible because then we gain life. That seems best. That's what I want to do. Yeah, let's do that. If he goes and kills our guy, he kills our guy. No big deal. He doesn't have any... Oh, you're talking about with the... Like next turn. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. At least we gained some life. We killed off a creature. Did uh, he sacrifice his blood token guy? Um, yeah, I don't remember how that guy died. Weird. Oh, uh, he exiled something from our graveyard. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how that guy died. I, oh, I know, I wait, wish. did he? Show game log. Let's let's look. Did he try to kill our creature and then it just was totally. Fine. Let's see. So yeah, he tried killing our guy, right? Give target creature minus X minus X for X is two times the number of blood counters you control. But he didn't have any blood counters, so he just threw his guy away for free. Oh, good, because I was like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Yeah, I like oh, how we just glossed oh, over oh, that. Huh? Now he's losing another creature, so that's good. Yeah. Hey, like how we glazed over him throwing away a creature. It's pretty funny. I was I was literally eating noodles, talking about you were talking about living in a lighthouse. I was talking about <laughs> the ring. I'm like, there's demon or there's a number thirteen everywhere, but we have the angels. Mm. <laughs> and, and meanwhile, this guy is just killing his own creatures. I mean, like, He's fuck, so I'm so stupid, and we're like, not, we don't even notice. Well. Waste your removal on a one two. We don't care. Yeah. How many cards does he have? Four? Yeah, he still has four in his deck. Yeah. His hand. But we're gonna we're what about to he, like do why, why did he just lose life? He gained life and we lost life because he exiled one of our cards from our graveyard. That is a oh, creature. Oh, we gotta get rid of that motherfucker. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be an interesting game. I still think we're like in a pretty solid position though because of this guy making extra tokens and stuff. Um We got two creatures to play next turn and we can equip too. Yeah. We can play, play, <laughs> equip. We and we equip equip to the the creature that's like the token, you know. Yeah. So um, is that a human token? Yes. Human soldier. So, human soldier? Yeah. So then even if he kills it and attacks, you know, 
he would deal four to us, uh, well, three to us, and then, uh, oh no, he'll deal four to us, but then we'll, uh, like, be able to equip it to, like, one of these guys, you know, I'd, write, I'd like to stop drawing lands, play this guy, pay one, get a dude, playing hella slow. But whatever. It's all good in the hood. So, when we go to the store tonight, Velveeta Cheese, I want hair gel, and I can't think of anything. Brazers and pumpkins. And that's like all I can think of right now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay here. Really? Yeah. All right. I love you. I love you too, baby. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm coming in. Knock, he's knock. coming in hot. Yeah, he's coming in hot. Torrance, Fist of the Angels. Wow, he's an angel card. He is? He's the Fist of the Angels. Uh, well, he's also dead as fuck. <laughs> Aww. Damn, he also played this 5 side, which is hella annoying. We need to draw a spell right now. Okay. Well, God damn. I think we're gonna lose now. Well, can't we double block the five five? Yeah, we can. Gain four life. <laughs> yep. Lose three, six, seven. Oh, we lose. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty fucking bad, baby. He threw away his own creature. It's just not gonna matter. We drew one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven spells and six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, we die. He plays this guy, a braids, casts a braid from the graveyard, kills our guy, attacks with everybody, and we lose. Can't block. You know, oh. winning way. Oh well. That was a good deck. The angels and humans was fun. We made some tokens. Wait. We did some good stuff. Wait, I'm confused. <sighs> we only played two matches. No, that was three. We won the first two and lost the last one. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one guy just conceded hella fast. Yeah, the first round was just, like, nothing. But, yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, I, I was, like, looking... I, I want to play another match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe we will when we get home. But until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Kick-ass, take names, obtain... Uh, peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Have a happy Halloween. Wonderful rest of your year. You know. And just take care of yourself and others. Alright? Love you all. Peace. Love you. Bye.